What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Johnny coming at you with another video of some TTM returns. Guys, for those of you that don't know, TTM stands for Through the Mail Autographs. I send out requests, multiple requests a week for athletes autograph. Baseball heavy, but I've been branching out to everything from tennis to racing, hockey, you name it, I've been trying it. This has been a fun, addicting hobby, and I am so glad to have you guys along. I always look forward to reading your comments about what autographs were your favorite. Let's get to it. Let's get the dreaded RTSs out of their way. This is part of the hobby, guys. Looks like I tried to send to Russ Francis. Um, there we got my sassy back. Russ Francis, a patriot. On a 1978 Tops, didn't sign that. Basically said not deliverable, unable to forward, so probably not a good address. All right, second one is Mr. Dave Nicholson. Same thing. That's the address I used: 1530 16 Lake Point Drive, and evidently not a good one. Unable to deliver. And one of these, 1965. So I'm going to have to check out and see what the addresses are. Let's get to the good stuff, guys. Here we go. First one coming out of I don't know because there's no postmark. Oh, Yogi's all by himself. Get to use that stamp again, maybe. Here's a 4-4 four, four success, zero fee, 48 days. Who'd we get? Check it out. Mr. Larry Sorensen. Well-known pitcher, played for a few teams here. Here's Brew Crew. Look at that blue ink on that 1981 Fleer. Man, that's a great autograph, Mr. Larry Sorensen. And then we got a 1980. We got two 1980 tops. Very cool. Looks like we got some trade action. That is so neat when they sign the duplicates. Guys, I do not sign uh, sell my autographs. These are all for my collection. And there's an 81 Donruss. Man, that looks great on that card. Thank you, Mr. Larry Sorensen, for your autograph. Like I said, I do not sell my autographs. I love to collect them. I do trade. I asked Mr. Uh, Larry Lawrenson, he's a pitcher, or Sorensen, who's his favorite catcher was, and he put Buck Martinez. Well-known catcher. He's actually a TTMer. I have a TTM out to him now. So, And I'm pretty sure I asked Buck Martinez who's his favorite pitchers were. So I'll be curious if he says Larry. <laughs> All right, here, next one coming out of Cincinnati, Ohio. One of one success, dollar fee for his donation, and only five days. Very quick return for Mr. Jerry Argio for the Twins. Give us some blue ink. A 1965 Tops. Very nice. He was a pitcher, and I asked him who his favorite catchers were, and he answered back, Johnny Bench, Jerry Grote, and Paul Beatty. Yeah, they're not too sure about him, but I know these guys. Jerry Grote's actually a good TTM, or he's still signing. So thank you for answering your qu the question, Mr. Jerry Argio. Coming out of Jacksonville, Florida, guys. One of one success, zero fee, 118 days. Took a bit. Looks like we got our one card for Mr. Doug Cor Corbett, Corbet, I guess. 1981 tops. Not a bad autograph at all with that blue ink. Um, I got it's about time for me to send him out again. Uh, but I think he actually played for my Braves as well. I asked him a question, didn't have time to answer the uh, question, but that is okay. He had time to autograph the card, and that is good enough. All right, guys, we got Tampa, Florida. We got four or five, $20 fee, 11 days. He's 11, I think he's a uh, five, yeah, five per, and I put five cards in. If he kept it, I don't even know which other cards I put in, but Mr. Lou Pinella on the Yankees, 1977, tops as a player in the outfield, blue ink, smeared a number a little bit, but that looks sweet. And then we got a 1984 tops. Another little, looks like he put his finger on there a little bit, but not too bad. Now the 81 Fleer looks pretty tight. Look at that. Did we get all player cards? Yep, no manager cards. I've seen them in the past, and they've all been managers, so I was happy to get 
some cards back as he was a player. Here's a 1979 Tops. So very cool. We'll go put some of these up here. We'll put those two. That just looks cool. Thank you, Mr. Lou Pinella, for your autograph, sir. All right. This one's coming out of Oregon, Metford, Oregon. Two or two success, 17 days, and another zero fee. Man, I love it. Guys, this is this is addicting. <laughs> Who'd we get here? Boom, Mr. Bob Johnson on a 1972 Tops. Look how young he is there. Blue ink going up the leg. Great placement on the autograph. And then we got a 1974 Tops traded card. I like this set. Big old yellow traded. And he got some blue ink the same way. So that I'm going to have to demonstrate. That is just nice. Wow. Thank you, Mr. Robin uh, Johnson, for your autograph, sir. All right, last one, guys. Looks like coming out of Brockton. Brockton, MA. I got some some fans, and actually, I got some friends and some YouTubers that are from Brockton. Um, guys, if you don't mind, hit that like button real quick. That helps out my video so much. I really enjoy reading the comments, so please leave a comment. Let me know who's your favorite. Last one, one of one success, zero fee in only nine days. Another vintage, Mr. Jim Longborg. Longborg, very cool. 1971 tops blue ink he also answered a question I asked him who's his favorite catcher was and it looks like he put Howard Austin Howard Aston Howard so very cool love when they answer the questions thank you I want to thank everybody who autographed the cards you know you guys don't have to do that um some great mix of cards guys I'd love to know who's your favorite one Johnny out